What is up guys? Thanks for watching as always. Uh, it's been a while, so about the time I do another video. Uh, I did receive another parcel today and uh, the contents of it uh, should be quite interesting. So without any further ado, I'll uh, start opening the box. And... I do, came prepared. Um, I've been wanting this reel for quite a while. I ordered the the new Stella. It's the 2020 model. Um, so I've been debating on it for quite a while, but I got pretty lucky for Christmas, so I was able to put some money towards it. Um, this is the 2020 model. So there was the new uh, range came out in 2019. Uh, but it didn't include the 18,000 model. So off the top of my head, it had um, 8,000, 10,000, and 14,000. Maybe the 6,000 as well. I think the 6,000 was included. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But they hadn't had the 18,000 out yet. So that came out in 2020. Um, Japan got it first. Maybe they got it in 2019, but it, at least it became available in the US in 2020. Um, so. This is a very new model. Oh, you. Well, this is a big box. All right. Cool. So, wow, that's a big box. Stella 2020 in the 18,000. So you can't really see that. It's a nice looking box too. You can see here, 18,000 model. Uh, I wanted the 18,000 because it's just got more spool capacity, a little bit more grunt to it. Um, it is a heavier reel, quite a bit bigger than the 14,000, but uh, it'll handle 100 uh, to 120 pound braid a lot better than the uh, the 14,000 does. And um, if I'm going to use it for big bluefin tuna, big dock tooth, you know, even big GTs, 18,000 is probably where it's at. So. Um, Figures may as well do that. If I want to, I can always go put some lighter line on there. But I ordered a hundred pound nylon, uh, braided line as well. So yeah, cool. I don't know if this stuff is any good. This is the stuff by uh, Nomad. Uh, if you do have reviews on it, or if you have used it, do leave a comment down because I'm interested. I won't be using this stuff for a while, I think. So I just want to have it ready for if I do have the urge of planning a trip so um, so this is the, the hundred pound stuff um, it's an x8 braid so it's an 8 carry braid which makes it more round and a little bit smoother to use I ordered the 600 yards and it wasn't very expensive um, let's see how much I paid for it 59.99 for 100 yards so yeah that's not bad so that's good if you do use higher end braid, I mean it's recommended because like stuff like for Reavers and stuff, like that's really good. You just pay a lot of money for it. And considering that this is an eight carrier braid and that it had pretty decent reviews from what I've read, um, I want, just wanted to give it a try. Um, but on the other hand, the advertising was that it's the toughest braid in the world and it supposedly had a video of a giant trevally going around a uh, coral bombora a couple of times without snapping the braid and that would make me very suspicious because braid shouldn't be able to handle that it should be like slick and smooth enough and unfortunately that would mean that it would break i'm just thinking the dude had a really long leader on probably just hit the leader not the brake. that aside i think let me see if this stuff is really good It feels pretty smooth. So for the 100 pound line, it's uh, half a mil thick. So 0.50, as it says. But yeah, anyway, we'll pull that up soon. Let's check out this reel first. Don't wanna get sidetracked here. So, all right, owner's manual, put that aside. All right, oh yeah, came with the bag too. So, yeah, this is the handle. 
And then we got the back as oil and oh, I think this is the tool to switch over the um, the handle to the different side. It's got a couple of washers with correct me if I'm wrong. It should have been installed with the left hand wind, which is what I want, but that's a nice bag. That's cool. I forgot that that came with the Stellas. Okay. Alright, put that away. That's it. Yeah, chunky reel, 18,000. I actually prefer the old spool design, but the good thing is you can fit the older model spools on there, so no complaints there. Matter of fact, I think I may actually fit this one, which is an 18,000 with a 20,000 size spool eventually, but we'll, uh, we'll see how this turns out. Okay, screw on handle. Put that in straight, which seems more tricky than it should be. No, we're good. All right, cool. That feels good. That's smooth. So I will say I have played around with the um, previous generation 18,000, and one thing that I will say, and it didn't deter me from buying a Stella or anything because the performance is perfectly good on those reels um, but you did feel the uh, the gears rotating so you had kind of like it wasn't grinding but you did feel it uh, brand new out of the box it didn't do anything to the reel but it wasn't as smooth this one's like silky smooth so that's really good cool all right what does it say here line capacity nylon mono diameter is 0.52 mils, 310 yards. So we should be able on 50, since this is 50 braid, we might be able to fit about 350 yards on there. But we'll see how that goes. We might be able to count the colors. <laughs> we'll see. Alrighty, so this one's obviously going to go on my GT rod, which I've got over there, which I'll probably set up with it now so that I can spool on the line. Um, I can't do a review on it because obviously I don't know very much about the reel for the rest other than that it's, uh, I mean, the line of Stellas, it doesn't really need much of an introduction. They've been excellent reels over a long period of time and uh, definitely the flagship reel for Shimano. Um, it was either that or Saltiga. I've fished with both of them. Um, if you would have asked me six years ago I probably would have said I would have bought a Satie Expedition over this um, but that one's been out for a while one two I kind of changed my mind on it because I'm not a massive fan of their max seal stuff it's if there's something wrong with it it's very hard to repair um, I think the old Saltigas are actually a little bit better um, that's just my opinion so don't take it uh, as fact but um, but this one seems to be easy enough to repair. I don't think either one would be a bad decision. Um, and I think if you do have an issue with that reel, the manufacturer will take care of it regardless. Um, but it's just from hearsay. Um, it is a real service person that informed me on the max seal make being a bit of an issue in terms of servicing, but that on the side. Uh, let's put it in the rod. I'm gonna have to install different rod holders because this is not as convenient as I'd like it to be. So this rod is the Carpenter, the Blue Lagoon. Let me see if you can see that here. A40 model, uh, quite a heavy GT rod. Uh, very good for big stick baits, smaller poppers. But I fished big poppers on this. I've tested big poppers on this, and it's actually handles them perfectly fine so you're not limited to small poppers but 18,000 sizes uh, of reels perfectly for this rod because it is a heavy heavy setup all right let's see okay 
yeah, that feels right. Remarkably smooth for such a big reel. Couple of things on the big Stellas. Um, won't be able to close the bale while you're whining. It feels heavy now, but the bale won't close. And that is for the particular reason that one, it's something that can break in a reel, so obviously they want to reduce the chance of that happening. And two, um, if you do cast a big heavy lure, and the line comes off the reel, and you somehow, a wave hits the boat and you by accident hit the, um, the bale, sorry, the, uh, the handle here, and the bale arm closes, um, that's either your rock being jerked out of your hand from the momentum of the lure flying, because these are big lures, uh, your line snapping, you're losing your lure, or what have you. But either way, it's a good thing to have that the bell doesn't close. Also, no uh, anti reverse in there, it's just one way, and that's it. Because again, that's something that can break, so they just take that out of there. Um, just designed to not break, basically. So, Which is what you need for the type of fishery that it's intended for. But yeah, I'm very happy with this. This is uh, beautiful. Very smooth. I'm surprised at how smooth it is for the size of the reel. So, um, definitely smoother than the previous model because I've owned the previous model, then I got stolen. But definitely smoother than the old model. But anyway, uh, without further ado, let's put some line on this. I have to set this thing up, and then uh, we'll be right back. All right, so I've just uh, taken this pool off the reel just to show you. Um, I was hoping that they would come with uh, if I'd taken the label off the spool. It would come with a sticky edge right here, which is great for if you spool it directly with braided line. Uh, mainly because braided line doesn't bite down. It doesn't have any traction, so it doesn't bite down on your spool, and so it actually spins on your spool for quite some time. Um, with the bigger spools, you don't really need to worry about it because the, there's so much line on there that the friction prevents your line from spinning on your spool. With smaller reels, you definitely want a base of nylon underneath there, because I've actually seen it with people that the complete spool of line was actually spinning on the spool itself. But, I mean, with the amount of line that goes on here, it should be perfectly fine. But, a bit of a sticky layer would have been nice. Either way, let's tie this puppy up. Alrighty, so, just to show you, um, that line is tied onto the spool, as you can see. Um, I've tied it off with a slip knot, uh, one that I always use, quite a versatile knot, but, just to show you what I uh, stated before, braided line does slip on your spool. Now, I'll just do it as an example with just a couple of wraps, and obviously that's exaggerated. Um, but if I wrap it around a couple of times, like so, and I pull, you'll see that that line will come undone. And with nylon, you'd have a lot more friction on that spool, mainly because that nylon's got stretch on it, and it actually bites down on the spool much, much harsher than the braid does. Now, if I fill this up, it should be perfectly fine because there's so much friction that that line shouldn't spin. But it's just to show you as an example. So Anyway, let's set this thing up and uh, we'll spool her up, see how much fits on it. By the way, this line is color coded, as you may be able to see. It's uh, 600 yards, so there should be 60 color changes because it changes colors every 10 yards. Um, but we should be able to set this thing up. So I just wound in the last little bit, and this is what you don't want. That's been in the line, and that's from the last little bit that I wound through my fingers. So you see how much twist in your line, and obviously that's what causes bird's nests or wind knots or whatever you want to call it um, during your cast, but you want to make sure that you're going to have all of those coils out of there, because that's not good. There's another one forming down the line, so yeah. Prevent that at all times, you'll be fine. Um, for now, let me wrap this thing up. That was my unboxing and spooling video of my Stella 18000. Um, if you have any questions, 
let me know and uh, yeah, I'll give you the information if I have it. But thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.